Midge larvae are probably some of the most important and common food sources for trout. They are in every river and creek. In some parts of the year, they can be the only food source for the fish. This fly is so easy and quick to tie, you can make up a dozen of them in less than an hour. You only need a hook, thread, and some midge size vinyl ribbing. When tied small and with midge vinyl wrap, it can mimic a midge very well. Start your thread at the eye of the fly and secure it with four to five even thread wraps. Be sure to make them smooth on the hook. Then trim your tag end. Now tie in your midge size vinyl ribbing on top of the hook. Secure it so that there is a small space between the end of the wrap and the eye of the fly. You will need this space later to whip finish the fly properly. Wrap down the hook shank and stop just shy of the sharp bend in the hook. Then wrap back up the hook all the way to the eye. Make sure your wraps are even and smooth. As you can see, we covered the tag end of the vinyl ribbing material, and there's a small space between the ribbing and the eye. Now we can wrap the vinyl ribbing up the hook shank towards the eye. The ribbing has a flat side and a rounded side. Make sure the flat side is against the hook. Sometimes this can be hard to get started, and the ribbing does not want to cooperate. Once you get it lying flat, it is quite easy to wrap up the hook. Just make sure the wraps are even and not overlapped. Capture the ribbing, secure it with a few tight wraps, and snip off the excess. And now, whip finish your fly. Make sure you don't build too high on your whip finish. Usually just three to four wraps will do it. The final step is to add a drop of head cement to your knot. You can do this more precisely with the end of your bodkin. Just make sure and keep it out of the hook's eye. And there we have it. An easy and quick annelid fly that is very effective as a midge larvae imitator. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Now go catch some fish.